So before I finish Skylakes, I've got Nip2 B and Q, so that will not be a cheap visit as it never is in there. Your trade card's next to useless nowadays. And it's raining again. Every time I put a hole in the van, it's raining. So the nearest measurement I'm going to get is going to be 70mm by 44mm. Uh, tongue and groove, definitely no no. Right, these are metal blades. I'll tell you what, it's not cheap in BQ nowadays. Six pieces of wood, some screw bits, a packet of screws, and what else is that? Some jigsaw blades. 100 quid. Rocket bastard. Now this is the roof height, which I'm putting on top of the roof of the van. It measures around about 850 by 550 mil, and it's a Dometic skylight, which I removed from my salvage caravan about six months ago. So in order to fit this skylight, I'm going to have to remove these spot welds around this rib. This rib will have to be removed completely because, due to the size of the skylight itself. The rib will be in a way. So once that rib has been removed, I want to move that rib from there to the back end of the van. So I've got something for the headlining to be attached to. Because at the minute, if I just swing it around a bit, if I can't, there's nothing to really attach the headlining to. Now on top of the rib, there's some glue that glues it onto the roof of the van. So that's going to take some cleaning off. There you go. One rib moved. So before I start cutting out the hole out for the skylight, what I want to do is make sure the skylight is pretty much central to the bed. I don't want it offset to either side really. So I've now mat off the skylight on the roof. So it's in line with the window, bedroom window, and as you can see, that roof rib would have been right in the way. Just putting some sticker flex glue on so it stops the vibration of the rib onto the bodywork. Now to line this rib back up onto the roof. Up now. That's just a case of spot welding that rib back onto the van. First, I want to make sure the bash is disconnected before doing your welding. So that's the rib now welded back on its bodywork now, all secured into position. So, just like before, with my windows, I've made a wooden frame for my skylight. And like just before, the frame will be glued to the bodywork of the van. Right, I just want to take a couple of measurements of this framework. Make sure it's absolutely square. The only real data and line I have is this rip on the roof and the van wall. So, just take a couple of measurements. That's 250 mil. Two hundred and fifty mil, two hundred and 
120. So we'll bang on. The next step I want to do is make sure this frame is absolutely flat to the underside of the roof of the van. And the only way I'm going to do that is try and match the curvature, the pigs and troughs on the roof of the van and cut out what's needed so it lays absolutely flat to the roof of the van. So using the same idea as Greg Virgo's, I've traced the rib lining of the van using this tool here so I know which part I can cut out from the framework of the van so it matches the roof. That's the framework cut out to mirror image what's on the underside of the roof of the van. All that is next to do is to mark off the inner edges of that framework and start cutting the roof out. I've now removed the framework for the skylight and you can see where I've marked out the cutting line, the roof. That's it cut out. Now I can pull this middle piece out. So that's the hole made. I know it's off to the offside of it, but I've got actually some wraparound cupboards going around the head of the bed. So that's why the hole is more to the offside. But it is central to the bed and central to that window. I just put some Sikaflex bonding glue around the frame. Now I'm going to mate it up against the roof of the van, making sure it's all aligned up perfectly. Hope and get that wired up. Now I'm going to take measurements again for my dead some line here and the panel of the wall there. Make sure it's all lined up again. Great, so I'm going to clamp it back up now. Right, that's it clamps up into place. Probably leave it for a couple of days. And after a couple of days, I'll release them clamps and clean up the edges of that hole. So this is the framework nicely glued in now. All I'll do is clean up the edges and work out a way how to make this roof flat now. Hmm, I have a plan.
So as you can see, I've got quite a big gap now I've got on top of this roof where this plywood is sat. And it really only looks, there's only two pieces on the roof that make this plywood quite proud above the rest of the roof. So I'm going to have to get rid of those I think. There's a huge gap on the front end of the roof. Now I've cut them two high pieces off the roof. I've now got a smaller gap in the front. Now the reason why I wanted those chopping board was it's about the right thickness to compensate the gap between the roof and the skylight. I want to cut out long strips and make a rim around the edge to fill in them gaps. So before I put the plastic offcuts I've made, I've made some packing spaces out of fiberglass to go in the trough of the front end of the van. So I've now stuck on the plastic pieces around the skylight on the lower sections of the roof. So I've made myself another mouldy section out of fiberglass. This piece will be glued on top of the roof in the trough just right at the back there. Building this canopy above the skylight has helped out quite a bit today. It's kept the rain off where I've been working. I have been doing a lot of filming today because it's been raining, obviously, and I've had nowhere to put the camera. And all I've been doing today is fiberglassing, sanding down, doing a bit more fiberglassing, and building up the layers for this lip I'm doing around the edge of the uh, framework for the skylight. So now I've built up the edges around the framework for this skylight. I've now sanded it down and it's now ready to be painted. Tomorrow I will actually seal it off as well around the edges, make a neat job of it. So that's framework finished on top. I've now given the framework two coats of red primer. Just waiting for it to dry out, it's a bit of a cold day and everything's taking twice as long because fiberglassing doesn't like cold, paint doesn't like cold, so I'm 
just waiting for stuff to dry basically. As soon as it dries, I will put some sealant along the edges to make it more waterproof. Then I can get the skylight in then. Thank God. It's raining again. Right. This is taking way too long now. So that's the edges of the skylight framework now sealed up using Sikaflex sealant. So around the edge of the skylight I'm using non-drying bondant sealant. Now it's time to stick on the skylight making sure the hinges are on the front end of the van. Let's get the skylight into place. It has taken a long time to get to this position. Certainly a nice snug fit. This is the skylight bezel for the underside of the skylight. I'm going to leave it off for now, but this acts as a clamp to hold the skylight into place. I'm just going to temporarily fix the skylight using some long screws because I've still got the ceilings to install. So there you go, that's how I fitted my stupidly big skylight, which took a very long time. So I skylight down, two to go. Thanks for watching, see you next time.